What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for the super quick video and today we'll be talking about which one is better, left or right handed. This one here includes some recap from my previous video about 7 months ago, but of course there will be lots of new insights on this one. And try to watch the whole video so it will make full sense, it's not going to be that long anyway. And after watching, please let me know in the comment section which one do you think is better, left or right handed. So now let's get right into it. So before I take my side on which one I think is better, first let's talk about the differences between the two. Actually there's a lot of differences, but let's start first with the smaller details. First one, if you watched my previous video about dunking controls, pressing square button or right stick up on your dunks will trigger two handed dunks or dunks on your stronger hand side. So if you're right handed, pressing those controls will trigger two handed dunks or right handed dunks. And of course if you're left handed, it will be on the left hand or two handed dunks. Next one, on your dribble launches, if you're pushing forward, usually it will dribble the ball on your strong hand side. In here, you can see that when I use James Harden, it usually launches on the left side, while with Embiid, it usually launches on the right side. Again, these are just small details, I'm just trying to prove a point that there's actually a difference. It's not just right-handed will shoot on your right hand, and left-handed will shoot on the other hand. And there could be some other smaller details, but those ones are the obvious ones. Now for the bigger details, and I think the ones that will really affect your game, is the side drift. For those who don't know, side drift is the sideway movement that your player does when shooting the ball. And the ones that decides which direction it will go, is your handedness. It usually drifts on your weak hand side. In here, you can see that the left handed ones goes to the right, and the right handed ones goes to the left. Everything is the same with those two players, but the handedness. I tested a lot of bases months ago, and it's either it stays almost at the same place or moving towards your weak hand side. I haven't seen any jump shot base that drifts towards the strong hand side. Meaning, if you're right handed, it's either your base will just stay almost at the same place, just like with AD base, or will drift to the left. And the thing that makes the side drift really important is because it affects your challenge reduction a lot. To the extent that even this one here, the left handed one is exposing the ball to the defender on the left have less challenge than the other one who have the ball on the opposite side of the defender, which means side drift is really more important than the actual exposure of the ball. In here, even the ball was on the same side of the defender, it will have an average of 0% challenge only because it was moving away. While in here, even the ball was on the opposite side, it will have more challenge, average of about 12%, just because it was drifting towards the defender. And by the way, of course, if you put the defender on the right side, you will have less challenge when your player is drifting to the left. Exactly the same thing, you just need to flip everything. Now I might say, oh toots, what's the big deal about this? Like who cares if you drift to the left or right? That's a really good question, but knowing that side drift really matters, now you can really capitalize on that one. So for example, if you're left handed and you know that you'll be drifting to the right when you shoot, then it means it's better for you to operate on this side of the floor here. Because for the most part when you ISO, you will shoot when you get rid of your defender like this, right? And knowing that you will drift to the right, it will take away some of your challenge, that's why it's better to shoot here. If you shoot on the left side, being left handed, you'll be drifting to the right, which means more challenge. Even on just corner spot up shooting, if you're right handed and you know that your base is drifting to the left side of your player, it means that it's better for you to shoot on this side here. Because for the most part, your defender will come from this part of the floor, right? So you're always drifting away. My point is, if you know which side of the floor you want to operate, then you can decide if you want to be left-handed or right-handed. If you want to operate more on left side, then be right-handed and vice versa. But of course, it depends on your base. There's some jump shot bases that doesn't have much side drift. If that's the case, then choosing what side you will shoot won't matter much. Just like in my case, I'm using AD base and it doesn't really move much, which is rare for bases, so I don't care much which side I'm shooting. But most popular bases though have side drift. So now for my verdict, what's the better one? <laughs> this one here is really close because I think everything depends on your playstyle, like every effects will have the same impact if you just switch to the other side. But there is one factor that convinced me that the other side could be better, and that is familiarity. Because since we have more right-handed players, as a defender, we got used to defending right-handed players. I know in real life it matters more, 
but even on 2K, it kind of matters as well, especially with all those things that I mentioned on this video. So you being left-handed, that will give your defenders some different approach that they don't usually get. I think that gives left-handed players a slight edge. I know it's not much, but that will really matter even into a small degree. Just like in boxing, if you're southpaw or left-handed, you will always have a slight edge because all fighters got used to facing right-handed fighters as well. So every punch or angle you throw will be seem odd to them. So that's it for my take. Again, please let me know in the comment section if you want to add something, like which one do you think is better. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming, guys. Peace.